What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to another question dealing with linear systems. So this particular word problem we're gonna be solving with substitution. And we're told that Jess gets three times as many math questions done than Kate in an evening. And together they get 52 questions done in an evening. How many more questions does Jess get done than Kate? Okay, so what we're gonna do here is introduce two variables. So we're going to let x equal the number of questions done by Jess. And then we're going to let y equal the number of questions done by Kate. Okay, and we're going to create some equations from this information with those variables we introduce. So we're told that Jess gets three times as many math questions done than Kate in the evening. So if Kate gets this many questions done, let's say she gets five questions done, well then Jess is gonna get 15 questions done, right? You would just multiply this by three. So whatever Y is, we multiply that, that by three and we're gonna get X. So we can create an equation from that saying 3y is equal to x. And then we're told together they get 52 questions done in an evening, meaning in total, right, both of these added up, x plus y is equal to 52. And now we have two equations, two unknowns we could solve, and notice that the x is already isolated. So what we can do is we could take this 3y, plug it in for that x right there. So we would end up with 3y plus y is equal to 52. These are like terms, so that would be 4y is equal to 52 divided by 4, divided by 4, y would equal, uh, what would this be? This would be 13. Right, so this here, what does this represent? Y is equal to 13. That's the number of questions done by Kate. If we want the number of questions done by Jess, well, we could simply take Y is equal to 13 and we could plug it into either equation, either this one or this one and solve for X. I feel like this one is easier since X is already isolated. So X would equal three times this value of 13, which would be 39. So that's the number of questions done by Jess. And then you can do a quick check. Notice that this is three times that. 13 times three is 39. And then notice if we take 39 and add 13, we would end up with 52. Okay, so it checks out. That's how you could verify your solutions. You could take these, plug them into the two equations, make sure that the left side is equal to the right side. Now you gotta be careful with these questions. They're asking how many more questions does Jess get done than Kate? So a lot of times these questions will ask how many questions does each of them get done? That would be the answer, but they're asking how many more questions does Jess get done than Kate? Meaning what's the difference between these? So we would do 39 minus 13, which would be 26. So that's the answer right there. So you gotta be careful with a question like this, maybe on a multiple choice test, you might see this and this, right? But they're asking for this answer right here. How many more questions does Jess get done than Kate? They're not asking how many questions does Jess get done. If they were asking that, it would just be 39. How many more questions, right? So you'd have to take the difference between those. So make sure you're reading these questions really carefully. Usually they're just gonna ask for the number, but just wanted to throw something like that in there just so you could be really uh, aware of things they could 